walking around town and waving my crystal staff, playing with the thunder, just because I can. The universe is my mentor and my guide. The cosmos is my dictionary for the power of thoughts and creation. See, ghosts are a lot like pretty women. You can't let them scare you. Black magic of Satan allows me to continue drinking and I rule the, rule the trolls' lives. It's like Dragon Ball Z in real life. Do you see that? If people want magic lessons on YouTube, PayPal me some money and I will give you magic lessons. Well, my tummy's feeling a lot better after taking a couple of Pepto-Bismol tablets. I was eating that shit like candy for a second. Got the taste of stomach acid in the back of my throat from throwing up earlier. Oh, that's nasty. The pizza cooked perfectly, and then it was way too spicy for me to handle. And yeah, go figure. And it royally fucked my stomach up. I finally called my I finally called my stepmom, whining like a baby about how much my stomach had hurt. She's like, "What'd you eat?" I'm like, "Some spicy pizza that I made. You got anything?" Stepmom runs over some Pepto Bismol and some ibuprofen. Oh yeah, that was incredibly nice of my stepmom to help me out like that. Who I considered who I considered to be my real mom, anyways. Even though she didn't give birth to me, she's been there since I was three or four. No, oh, that number combination. Oh, that number combination. <laughs> I find life's irony to be so goddamn delicious. And if you look hard enough, you'll see it. The number four pops up everywhere. How many tires do cars have? Four. How many corners are there on the globe? North, south, east, and west. That's four corners of the globe. How many seasons are in a year? Summer, fall, winter, spring. Four seasons. How many pieces were in the pizza? Four. And it reminds me of the time I used my magic. Screaming at the universe, let her win that beauty pageant. Do it. Well, I'll tell you, I used to have a crush on this one girl in high school that I, I kind of stalked a little bit. And I felt bad for doing it, so I wanted to use my powers to help her. And... She was in a uh, beauty pageant, and I used my powers to help her win. You know, she had a thing on Facebook where she said, vote for me here. So I voted, and, you know, using my powers, I'm like, hey, telling the universe, hey, I want her to win that contest, you know. And she won the contest, and she had the biggest smile on her face, and, you know, it just made her really happy. And I was like, hell yeah, that's what's up. And the trippy thing of it is, though, is that her and a contestant, one of them was in a black bikini, the other one was in a green bikini, and I'm like, well, how about that? My two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, she won it all right. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, I want to avoid talking about that chick from now on if I can help it, because I don't want to discuss her or any of the irony that connects us on so you know what i'm saying like trying to break that obsession with her is not easy especially when life has to remind you about her every other fucking day chicks like that man they want more than that man shit having good looks a big penis and some youtube fame being beast at guitar and being able to fucking sing really good did i mention the gorgeous biceps that's not enough man you know what I'm saying? That's not enough. I wouldn't mind visiting Salem, Massachusetts. I wouldn't mind visiting England. I wouldn't mind visiting Colorado. Wink, wink. <laughs> Freaking buy a shit ton of weed and go to the Stanley Steamer Hotel with a camera and a Ouija board and a voice recorder and fuck with ghosts. All stoned as shit. Be like, what up, YouTube? I'm out here in Colorado. 
hot box in the studio baker for a second you see that right there fucking pan the camera that way like oh look at that it's the stanley steamer hotel we're about to get baked to shit and fuck with ghosts yeah and if you think zach from ghost adventures is an antagonist <laughs> oh i love pissing off ghosts because they can't do shit to me my demonic powers protect me. <laughs> uh, this whole goddamn apartment complex is haunted. My landlord has received complaints from tenants because of the ghosts in this particular building. McNeil, you bastard. Is the ghost of my apartment's name, last name, McNeil? Which would be ironic as shit because i'm related to the mcneils distantly those are my scottish cousins there have been at least three people who have committed suicide in this building so it's got that energy to it you know what i'm saying that kind of you know now having magical powers and then living with a ghost i see shit fly off the shelf all the fucking time I would talk a lot of mad shit about the ghosts in this apartment complex. And I feel a ghostly hand just do this. Like it's trying to slap me for being rude, but doesn't quite have enough energy to do it. There's a good reason why ghosts don't really fuck with me that much. It's because one, like I said, my demonic powers protect me. And two, they don't scare me. In fact, every ghost in this apartment complex can suck my dick. How about them apples? I piss on your graves. What are you going to do about it, fuckers? Make something happen. See what I mean by I'm an antagonist? I gives no fucks. You think Zach Vegan from Ghost Adventures antagonizes spirits? Oh, I'll say all kinds of fucked up shit not care. Every ghost in this apartment complex can lick my asshole, suck my cock while I jizz on their grave. The fuck you fuckers gonna do about it? Do something. Make something happen on camera. You know what this is? This is a voice recorder on my phone. What if I used my voice memo? What if I used the voice memo on my phone, the voice memo app, to, to uh, try to contact ghosts and shit. Are there any ghosts in this particular area who wish to speak to me? I have in my hands a device that will allow you to communicate with me. Come on, you chicken shits. You want to talk to me or what? Or do I have to come piss on your grave? Come on, fuckers. Talk to me. Unless you're scared of my demonic powers, pussies. Come on, do it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I caught something. I caught a whispered faint. No. Holy sh No fucking way. My first EVP. That's fucking sick. Hold on a second, Facebook. I heard a, I heard a faint. No. That's fucking cool. Hoo-wee. Hey, people, you want to hear this EVP that I caught? Electronic voice phenomena? Let's take a close listen. Are there any spirits in the air who wish to communicate? Are there any ghosts in this apartment complex who wish to talk to me? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Did you fucking hear that shit? That faint? No. I mean, you saw me do the recording live on fucking YouTube. You saw me do the voice phenomena. You, you saw me ask the spirits. You literally saw me ask the spirits live on YouTube or Facebook, I mean. You literally saw me ask the spirits on Facebook Live, do you want to talk to me right now? And you heard that thing. No. You didn't see me move my lips or anything. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Fucking with ghosts live on Facebook. Hell yeah, that's how I roll. Do you have any haunted places in your town? Should totally go and record some YouTube bids there. Um, 
you asking me if I have any haunted buildings in Casper, Wyoming. I'm living in one. <laughs> Come on now. Apartment complex that used to be a hotel built in like 1939. It's going to have some fucking history, man. People with their gambling debts and shit. And the mobsters coming after them, that sort of thing. Are you a boy or a girl? Whoa, I heard something. When I asked the question, are you a boy or a girl? The ghost replied with, listen to this. Or a girl. You heard that, right? You fucking heard that shit. And then right after my question, I got a faint girl. Listen to that shit. The ghost was telling me that it's a she. Listen to this shit, Facebook. Listen to it. Are you a boy or a girl? Whoa. And you, you saw that I didn't talk after, after I asked every question and my lips were zip tight. Hey, it's a lady ghost. All right. <laughs> And you saw me when I'm recording this on Facebook Live. My lips are sealed. And when you do ventriloquism, you have to leave your mouth open just a little bit for air to come out. It literally sounds like an EVP. You know what I'm saying? That creepy, whispering ghost voice that you hear on EVPs. I got that shit right here, man. Yeah. EVP session in my haunted apartment. Turn around. <laughs> Wait a second, was that ghost saying turn around? Hold on. Sounds like it. Sounds like the ghost is saying, girl, turn around. Huh. First question I ask, I'm like, does the female ghost think I'm cute? And then I hear a faint, yes. That's fucking cool. <laughs> ghost pussy, all right. <laughs> and they said this broad was transparent. They weren't kidding. <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid, but let's... Hold on a second. Does the female ghost think I'm cute? I heard a very faint yes. Very faint. Apparently the female ghost thinks I'm cute. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I asked the question, how old were you when you died? And I got a response. I'm trying to figure out what it's saying. I think the ghost is saying either 92 or 52, one of the two, or 22. Died. Yep, the ghost is saying 92. How about that? Ooh, that's fucking cool. As soon as I asked the question, I got a response. Right as I was finishing my sentence, they're like, 92. You died. 92, yep, I heard it. This is definitely some next level shit, people. So apparently there's a female ghost in this apartment building who thinks I'm attractive. I got three really good EVPs. Let's try to make it an even four. No, that wasn't creepy at all, was it? Just say. Like... <laughs> Simon. Belmont says, does ghost pussy count as necrophilia? <laughs> well, technically no, because you'd actually have to have intercourse with the corpse. So maybe it's called a uh, ghost philia or some shit like that, or spirit philia or whatever. I don't know. And necrophilia is disgusting. I'll make jokes about it all day, but truth be told, I'd never do it. Anyway, if I wanna if I wanna fuck something that doesn't move, if I wanna have sex with something that doesn't move, I'd much rather fuck a sex doll. I'm just saying. Well, shit. If any of the female ghosts in this apartment wanna have sex with me when I'm sleeping, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> oh shit. Be careful what I say now. <laughs> Might get some lonely ass ghost female crawling into my bed going. Fuck me, you gothic stud. <laughs> I invite all the female ghosts of this apartment. If they wish to have sex with me when I'm sleeping, they are more than welcome to.
help you get off in the afterlife. <laughs> yeah. There have been numerous cases where ghosts have, quote unquote, forced themselves onto other people. You know, that's the nice thing about having sex with a ghost. You can't get her pregnant. <laughs> Not only do my dark powers protect me from any negative spirits, but my dog Chance does the same thing. My dog Chance is a guardian and a messenger from from me for me to the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard my dog Chance growling in the apartment before at something, and my dog Chance has been dead for a couple of years. I, I told my dead dog Chance, he's more than welcome to be with me or wherever I go. And he, he knows it. Subconsciously, he knows it. I've had ghostly encounters with deceased pets many a times. Do I believe in reincarnation? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Yes, I do. Because Albert Einstein's theory on energy says it cannot be destroyed, it cannot be made. So if energy is neither destroyed or created, then where does it go? How does it exist? It just does. There's energy in everything, not just in this lighter and this pipe and the tobacco I have in it and the pipe tool. There's energy in my desk and my coffee mug and my phone. Everything in life has its own energetic life force to it. Even if it's an inanimate object, it still has energy around it. And as a practitioner of the craft, as a practitioner of the craft, I learned to manipulate this energy to my own will. up a hand is mine Facebook that's the thing you have to try to tell yourself tell yourself the upper hand is mine I love having magical powers but I have a mutual respect for the dark arts and the occult you know what I'm saying you hear stories about people being possessed by demons and shit yeah that's the kind of shit I fuck with basically Interesting thing happened, Facebook, when I was walking home, um, I passed by a bar that had a light on nearby the parking lot. And I watched my shadow as I was walking by and my shadow grew demon wings and then they, they kind of just shot out of my back for a minute and then flapped kind of like this, like, and then they sucked back in. And I was like, whoa, dude. That's cool. Hell yeah. You didn't see the wings appear in real life, but I felt something shoot out of the back of my back. And then when I looked at my shadow, I seen demon wings popping out of my shadow. And I was like, whoa, dude. Fuck yeah. I must have done something right because I definitely feel a lot more powerful than I have felt in quite a while. My solitude and magical study has paid off immensely. Whoa, dude, my eyes just glow green for a second. Whoa, that was, um, yeah. I just ask him that comment. No, it's not. He must have dick on the mind. Is that a dick on your arm? Yeah, it's the dick I used to fuck your mother. <laughs> like, this is, this looks more like a fucking Celtic symbol, if anything. You fucking stupid fuckers. You can't let life's shitty circumstances stop you from achieving your goals. Or trying to better yourself. Now, I can sit here and say that. I'm an Aries with autism, and that's why I shouldn't work on my temper, but that's just an excuse. You know the age-old expression, don't poke the bear, he might rip you to pieces. I guess the same could be said for somebody who has autism. 
I'm not the kind of person that scares easily. You point a fucking gun at my face, threaten to kill my ass. I'm the kind of smart ass that says, well, you're a daisy if you do, motherfucker, do it, make my fucking day. Vengeful spirits can do some damage. So when you fucking wrong somebody and you get away with it, that spirit comes back and fucking haunts your ass. Trust and motherfucking belief. So this here is a blue cobra. It consists of half Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey and some blueberry Red Bull. Let's see how it do though. Mm. Oh fucking hell, that is delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called uh, Blueberry Cobra because it's got a bite to it. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to pick up some of that monster peach tea that they had at Ace, but they were out of that, so I, I went for something else instead. Then I had some jack off in his truck yelling at me to put my wand away. I told him to go fuck himself, and then I changed the crosswalk sign to walk. And what does the bastard do? He keeps on driving. It's one of them wannabe cowboys who go to the beacon and get drunk and fuck sheep and talk shit. But guess what? Talk is cheap, motherfucker. All I'm doing is trying to make the crosswalk signs change quicker in my favor. And there's times I'll have my wand out. There's times I have my wand out and I'll do that for other people when I'm walking or riding my bike around town. I'll wave my wand and I'll help other people crossing the street. And people have seen it firsthand. They're like, that was kind of cool. Thank you. I'm like, yeah, not a problem. And a lot of people do not understand magic like I do. I'm so naturally in tune with it, it's not even funny. Walking around town at night and people see my demon wings poking out of the back of my shadow. I'm just saying, what would Jesus do? Turn the other cheek, right? That's what they say. Then you turn around and you see me practicing magic out in public and it offends you. It triggers you. If it didn't trigger you, then you wouldn't say shit like, put that fucking wand away. Now, last time this fucking happened, some asshole threatened to shoot my ass if I didn't put the wand away. So I got off my bike, pulled my knife out of my pocket, and I had a knife and a wand in my hand. And, and that, right next to my bike, I had my helmet on my handlebars. And I said, you're a daisy if you do. Fucking do it, motherfucker. Make my day. Here's the thing, though. I would have come back from the grave and haunted his ass to the point of him killing himself. I put a circle of protection around the apartment complex I live in, which pretty much using my powers to protect the people in this building, not just myself. And case in point, my buddy Alex came over the other day and he's like, bro, I saw this huge ass fucking raven just sitting by the dumpster glaring at all the glaring at all the pigeons and they were looking down at him like nope i ain't fucking with that tell you what that's one of my spirit animals i have a totem pole of spirit animals i have the king cobra i have crows and ravens and maybe owls too because i've noticed that there's an owl that likes to chill out by the apartment complex first time i saw a raven I was getting off work early from Wendy's because I was kind of sick. And this giant raven landed right in front of me, looked at me, and he spread his giant wings and then fucking took off. That should have been a sign I was going to lose that job. When I quit Wendy's, I had a lot of people ask, Hey, where's Josh? Where's that lobby attendant? He did, he did such a good job. He did an amazing job. Where's, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can be an asshole if I'm pushed to it, but generally speaking, I'm a hard worker. I have a good work attitude. And that's something that most people 
don't expect. They see the long hair and they see the spikes. And they're like, who the fuck is this punk? And here's the thing of it. You yelling out the window of your truck, you better put your wand away. <laughs> That's just going to make me keep carrying my wand. You know what I'm saying, Facebook? If anything, people like that are just going to get a dark spell put on them. And then my demon friends are going to take care of assholes like that. <clears throat> and they'll learn real quick. You think I won't use my magic to fuck up people who fuck with me? Oh, think again. And here's the thing of it. I've been casting dark spells against ISIS. They're losing territory. What more proof do you need? I found out Kim Jong-un was making nukes to test. And so I said, a circle of protection for the world against Kim Jong-un's nukes. A circle of protection for the United States of America against North Korea's missiles. I call to the to aid in my circle of protection. I call upon every dark deific force in the existence of hell. I call upon every dark deific force in the existence of hell itself to protect the United States of America and the rest of the world against North Korea's bullshit. And of course, protect us from their missiles. So mote it be in the magical circle. Whoa, dude. I felt that energy that I just put out for that spell right there. I got goosebumps, yo. And as soon as I said that, on September 3rd, Kim Jong-un's nuclear base had four earthquakes, which pretty much fucked up his nuclear base, rendering his missiles useless. So before he had the chance to test them, September 3rd, Four, so the third day, day number three, so nine, three. <coughs> so like literally on the third day of September, that's three and four people. Tell me that's not a coincidence. Next time someone tells me to put my fucking wand away here in town, I'm going to tell them, no, I fucked your mother with this wand and see what they do. If they get out of their fucking truck, I'll pull my fucking knife out. Like, you want to start something, motherfucker? You feeling froggy? Jump. Get back in your truck. It ain't worth your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of taking people's crap anymore. Like, I'm autistic. This is bullshit. You people suck. Not all of you. A lot of you are cool, but some of you suck. And you know exactly who, the ones I'm talking about. Like, I don't go around shoving my belief in people's faces. I really don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go around. And people, if they ask me about it, then I'll explain it to a degree in which they can understand without revealing too much. You know what I'm saying? Because there's only certain things you want to tell, like the very basics. A magician doesn't reveal all of his secrets after all. Tell you what, next time someone says, put your fucking wand away, I'm just going to wave my wand at their vehicle and put a hex on them. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing. I guess in an effort to combat my trichoteria a little bit, gave myself a devil's lock, and, uh, I don't know. You see that right there? My hair can naturally pomodor. I don't even need any fucking grease or hair gel. I can naturally palm it. That's fucking sick. Do you know how many motherfuckers? I'm just saying. Hairline looks like an upside down cross. That's pretty cool. 
Well, if that's what you think. Huh. I see a goddamn bird sitting on the f fucking fence outside my apartment window. It was a pretty birdie sitting on the fence. It was a pretty birdie. That's one thing I like about living on the ground floor. Oh, hey, pretty bird. How you doing? I see you looking at me and cleaning your wing white in front of me. Yeah. I'm a bit of an animal whisperer, Facebook. This here, Facebook, this is my Ouija board. Oh, these things are so dangerous. You got to be careful with these, dude. I seen a challenge on YouTube I want to do, the 666 Ouija board challenge. One of my uh, recently favorited YouTubers did this shit in a haunted barn and got possessed. I was like, dude, six Ouija boards, six candles, six summonings. But I'm like, fuck that. Hold on, let me just... Okay, I got some whiskey on my fingertips. I'm going to put this whiskey on the Ouija board. Drawing an inverted cross in whiskey. There we go. <sighs> I call forth every demon from hell. I call all my brothers from hell. Because why should we just call Zuzu into the circle? Why should we just call Zuzu into the circle? We need more than one, dude. Because one demon's not enough. No, it's not. Not with this guy, it's not. Now, the apartment complex that I live in is kind of haunted. So, fucking with an Ouija board in a haunted apartment complex. Basically like giving sugar to a four-year-old. It only encourages their bad behavior. <laughs> I love the sound of a pinchette, the fucking seer piece being dragged across the Ouija board. I love that sound. That... See, I love to fuck with Ouija boards. Because, you see this? That's called spiritual cojones. Oh, you shouldn't fuck with Ouija boards. They're bad for you. I'm like, I want to call every demon from hell through my Ouija board to come chill with me and hang out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I roll. I'm not just talking Zuzu, I'm talking every demonic force in hell, from Zuzu to Lilith to Chaos to Apep. Apep's my boy, yeah. Snake demon. <laughs> uh. good I feel something beyond the alcohol like the gravity in my apartment feels really heavy right now like you have no idea like it's like dude you walk into my apartment and you, and you can feel the spiritual energy it's like whoa dude between my powers and everyone else you know just kind of chilling out doing their thing you know Oh, yeah. If I won the lottery, I'd have my own Ouija board. Trust and belief. 
and have my uh, my Celtic demon symbol on the front of it. Hmm. I want to see what my eyes look like after calling every demon from hell into my apartment. Hmm. They are a light brown, almost, almost red. Whoa, dude. After calling all my demon friends, because that's just it, every demon that resides in hell is my friend, my mentor, my guide, and my spiritual teacher. And I genuinely don't need to call my brothers of the flame unless I have to, but just for the sake of a Facebook Live video, so you can see what it looks like firsthand. Which to a lot of you may look stupid. A lot of you are probably looking at me like, this guy looks so stupid right now. But here's the thing of it. I have what I believe in, you have what you believe in. And what I believe in gives me actual powers. Okay, just for Rattlesnake Randy, I'm gonna make this noise. I can mimic a rattlesnake's tail with my mouth. It sounds just like a rattlesnake. No bullshit. Uh, well, I am not. I am straight. Although, the fact that Reddit has a gay obsession with me, I'll take that as a fucking compliment. It means I'm an attractive young man. <laughs> You cannot take anything that Reddit says seriously. These people are homosexual assholes who are obsessed with me. They do everything in their power to ruin my life because they can't have me. They treat me like I'm some goddamn circus animal that performs when they tell me to, and I don't. I'm not their circus animal. I perform for YouTube when I want to, plain and simple. Like, their lives are so sad and miserable that they're willing... Uh, hold on a second. Their lives are so sad and miserable that they are willing to spread lies and rumors about other people just to make them look bad. I feel sorry for these trolls, dude. Like... I don't just do YouTube videos, you know, I have a life outside of YouTube, but it feels like these assholes that harass me have no lives, dude. Their sole purpose is revolved around sucking my dick. And thank you, to every last one of my hater on Reddit, thank you for supporting me over the years. It's really appreciated because now I have 7,000 subscribers. The fuck do you have? Nothing. You're an insignificant little piece of shit on the fucking truck stop toilet, trucker stop toilet of life. You're nothing. I rule your sad, miserable fucking world. If that wasn't the case, then you wouldn't be obsessively harassing me and talking a bunch of shit and saying this and that about me that, you know what I'm saying? Spreading rumors just to cause more drama. It's already gonna be done. It's already gonna be fucking done. Yes. I cast a dark spell on these trolls that harass me. May they rue the day they fucked with me. So mote it be in the witch's circle. Let my deep friends destroy their lives. As soon as I said that, I had a big old glowing ball of green energy fucking glowing in that scepter so y'all saw that live on camera right that's no photo editing no trick of the light none of that shit that was the magic taking effect coming out of my quartz crystal as soon as i cast that very dark spell the workout routine 
Oh, yes, I can do that. That there is the workout. 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups. Cobra yoga position in between. Yeah, that's natural. Um, I ride bike around town all the time, so I'm pretty sure I can handle doing squats. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, you're gonna prove that you can do squats. Shit. I got my heart pumping a little bit. There we go. That was a nice little workout. Mm, get it. You can't claim to be a good Christian and then hate on somebody else because they have a different belief than you. And these Pentecostal pricks are the absolute freaking worst. They look at me like, oh, you make wands, you use wands, you, you practice magic, you're going to hell. Well, cool, I look forward to it. It'll be a high-ranking demon when I do, so... But here's where I have a problem with the Christian faith. There's a lot of holes in their logic. You think for one second, Christians are very much against the idea of magic. They think it's a sin. However, here's Moses with his freaking staff moving the Red Sea. That sounds like magic. And then you get the holy anointment oil where God told Abraham to make the cannabis infused holy anointment oil, which sounds like potion making. Now you're telling me that Jesus Christ rose from the dead to save our sins. That sounds like necromancy. Now you're telling me that his, his flesh turned to bread. You're eating his flesh, which turned to bread, which sounds like cannibalism. You're drinking his blood, which turned to wine. That sounds like vampirism, yet somehow you have a problem with me practicing magic when I'm not directly hurting you or any way, shape, or form. You just, you don't agree with it. Moses used demon magic and Jesus was a necromancer. Think about it. It makes sense, wouldn't it? Want more further proof? Check this out. Jesus and Satan are brothers. I'm just saying, YouTube. And when you see Satan getting kicked, when you see Satan getting kicked out of heaven for having different ideas, it's much like some 18 year old who thinks they know everything. And their parents being like, well, if you think you're so smart, well, then you can just move out on your own. Make your own decisions, Mr. Big Shot. Your gut instinct is your subconscious existing in the future. Think about it. Everything that has happened will happen. Everything that hasn't happened will happen. Time is an endless loop. Energy, energy itself cannot be made, nor can it be destroyed. And think of Mother Earth as a gigantic empty jar. Every time someone passes away, the energy is recycled and the jar fills up with water only to empty and be refilled. And eventually, when the sun goes out, 
if humans have developed technology that allows them to survive without sunlight, that technology will only last for so long before the earth explodes from being around for ages. All that energy building up to that point, that point where Mother Earth is like, the sun's been gone for several years, I can't take it anymore. Is all of that energy that's been condensed onto the planet's surface up to that point is going to be released back into the air. And that energy mixed with the gas from the exploding debris of that planet. My theory is that it'll recreate another Earth. Much like taking a VCR and turning the TV on and watching the tape rewind itself and then play forward. Yeah. How else would you explain the feeling of deja vu? Like, oh fuck, this has happened before, hasn't it? Huh? Think about it. Damn, dude. These arms of mine are getting nice and big. I like that. I like how the fucking haters are like, oh, he's not gonna use those dumbbells to work out. Let's see if we can do 20. One, two, eight, nine, ten. Do you think I can do ten more? Let's go for it. Eleven, eighteen, nineteen. 20. <sighs> Suck a dick, haters. So I have here in my possession the Toe of Satan Sucker Challenge. This thing is way spicier than a Carolina Reaper. And apparently the challenge is to hold the sucker in your mouth for an astonishing five whole minutes. Would that impress you? Because right here I have my possession. Some chewable tums in case I get massive heartburn. This sucker is definitely not for kids, man. And I'm not saying that because I'm a grumpy ass adult. I'm saying that because... Nine million Scoville units. Most kids don't even eat jalapenos for that matter. And this thing is like ten zillion, quadrillion times spicier than a fucking jalapeno. So, yeah. I would not give this sucker to a kid. Unless they were like super, super rotten. Like, oh hey, you want some candy? Here you go. Thanks for being so good. Just suck on it about a minute and a half later. <laughs> They spit it out. It's too spicy. Are you, you going to be a rotten little shit again? No, I'll be good. Oh, that's what I thought. Now, this is the kind of sucker you give to a kid when they're being super rotten. Like, so fucking rotten that spanking's not going to work. Yeah. I'm stalling because I've watched a couple of videos of people eating these, and I'm just like... They're these two buffed-ass dudes who are like four times bigger than me, and they lasted like a minute and eight seconds, and they were like, nope, I'm done. They spat it out. There's no spitting, but drooling on yourself is totally allowed. Can the Cobra's dark powers protect him from the toe of Satan? <laughs> Shit, for somebody who claims to be the Antichrist, this ought to be like a delicious little snack, right? <laughs> He's opening the case. There it is, folks. Right there in the case of death. Admittedly, that is a pretty cool looking case. Show that logo. The company that makes these is not a sponsor. So I've never actually had these before. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open it up and we're going to get into it.
I'm gonna open the sucker right on camera. Oh yeah, you see me opening it. I'm probably gonna make a huge Asperger's of myself. Probably gonna drool like a fucking retard. But that's all right, because that's the fun of watching people eat these. That seems to be the um, contributing factor to that sort of thing. It's people going, oh, dude, look at them drool. Look at them drool over themselves. Oh, that's gnarly. Now, when I see these kids eating Tide Pods, I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? And then I, it's out of the wrapper. Oh, world's hottest sucker. That's a really pretty shade of red. What does it smell like? It definitely smells like um, the um, the red hot candies, like those cinnamon red hot candies. Like it straight up smells like Fireball whiskey. That's what it smells like. And the timer will stop when you hear the Aooga! Sort of like an old Model T or Model A type horn. Okay, so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous on doing this challenge. Like, this is... I'm not scared by much, but this, this is intimidating. Oh, fuck a duck. Finger banging orangutan, a screw a kangaroo at your local zoo, and fuck you too. Oh, Satan, my brother, protect me on this journey. Give me the strength to complete this challenge. Like, oh yeah, you think your boyfriend leads an exciting life? I'm doing shit for <laughs> YouTube subscriptions. I've already spent 17 minutes stalling on this. Oh. Ah. oh, I had to go in for a second, didn't I? I was like, eh, ah, just, eh. Ah. Quit being a pussy and just do it. Okay, enough of your sex is crap. Holy shit. Hot. Hot. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. Who the fuck is this? Is? Uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, oh, I'm doing it, YouTube. I'm totally doing the Toll of Satan Sucker Challenge. Three oh four. Ah, ah. Two minutes. Two goddamn minutes left. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, two minutes, baby. Oh, yeah. What you got? Fuck the haters. I got this. This is hot. Uh, 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 almost got this. Fifty nine seconds. Uh, yeah. 
44. <coughs> 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 oh, fuck, I spit. I shut like fucking around all the spit. God damn it. Fuck. Sorry. You're not allowed to spit. My bad. Uh, uh, 14 seconds. Uh, uh, four. Three. Two. Oh. Holy shit, I did it. I spit once, my bad. while doing that challenge, but I still held it in my mouth for the whole five minutes. Get it. Ugh. Four times and it'll help. Oh, I'll get some flower water, that'll help. <sighs> oh, I literally had to. Put some flour on my lips. Cause um my lips are burning. Doesn't say anywhere on the case that you can't spit while doing the challenge. Putting the flour on my lips definitely helped. Um I took four tums to check my ass for some, from that nasty ass heartburn. Yeah, I gotta have a smoke of some tobacco after that. That was Holy shit, that was nuts. That was the most excruciating five minutes of my life, dude. You know, before I get into the guitar playing, uh, let's throw in some of these. Uh, yeah. Hey, YouTube, look at these biceps. Uh, so sexy, I could kiss myself. Oh, get you some. Oh. Oh. Beast mode activated. <sighs> get you some, motherfucker. Don't you just love it when the string snaps? Yeah, holy shit, he conquers the Toe of Satan challenge, then plays the guitar to go with it and shreds so hard that one of his strings snaps. <laughs> Anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching me conquer the Toe of Satan challenge. Watch me rock out to some heavy guitar. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you cool cobras later. Got some belly button lamps. Get that out of there. Ugh. There we go. Abs, baby. Yeah. It's despite having a crappy fucking diet that consists mostly of protein and red meat and grease, I look fucking fantastic. It's just good genetics, baby. <laughs> there are guys who go to the fucking gym and bust their ass to keep this form. And I don't gotta do shit. <laughs>
if anything, I, if I go to the fucking gym, I get bigger and I stay that way. Uh, you know, if I'm like at a hot rod show or some shit. Damn, Saunders, how'd you get so ripped? I do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups and I drink plenty of juice. Could you imagine the punching power behind this? Oh, could fuck somebody up in a couple of good hits, tell you what. Yeah. Oh, the vanity. Look at these biceps, though. Mm. Fuck somebody up with these things. Do I have a tape measure to see how big my biceps are? Well, I might have a tape measure. What the hell is this thing? Let's just go with the rough 10-inch diameters to see if that's even big enough to cover my biceps here. Hold on a second. If I can measure my biceps here, this is not going to be the easiest task in the world. Yeah, 10 inches is not enough. The circumference needs to be a little bit bigger. Holy crap, they're even bigger than a foot because I'm trying to squeeze it and it's all tight as fuck. So, okay, hold on a second. 13 inches, 14 inches, 15, 16. So about 15. Okay. Yeah, fan asked, I'm just like, well, let's see here. Oh, look at that. So it looks like my biceps are about 15 inches in diameter. Which, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. 15 inches in circumference of pure autistic muscly goodness. It's on my bucket list. I want to smoke weed with an actual King Cobra. I know that sounds stupid, but be out in the wild, fucking hit that blunt. <sighs> Someone in chat earlier was like, you should smoke weed with that King Cobra and let it bite you. That'd be a hell of a way to go. Yes, it would, but I don't plan on getting bit anytime soon if I can help it. I mean, if I see a cobra at a zoo or maybe like in the wild somewhere, you know. And most of the time, cobras aren't going to bother you unless you bother them. I'm the same exact way. I don't generally go looking for a fight unless one comes my way. And then, oh, it's go time, motherfucker. People's heads are getting knocked in. You know, my last fight happened so long ago that I don't even remember, to be honest. Because with arms like these, I could royally fuck somebody up without trying. And the thing about me in fighting is once I get past that stage of I don't give a fuck, then it gets dangerous for the person I'm fighting. Oh, yeah. So unless you know karate or unless you're an, a Marine, outside of those two things, I could probably kick your ass. I'm just saying.